Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. And welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're coming to you from St Helena's Caravan Park near Leeds. So let's get cracking. <laughs> We visit St Helena's Caravan Park in Horsforth near Leeds and while we're there we take Roxy for a lovely walk in the woods. We also visit the non-gone-by farm, see the animals as well as taking a look around the farm shop and buying a few goodies. The site's located very close to Leeds Bradford Airport in a beautiful wooded valley Head towards Leeds Bradford Airport, turn left off the A658 onto Old Dotley Road and it's about three quarters of a mile down the road on the left to just past Nongonbai Farm Shop. And now we've arrived at St Helena's Caravan Park and we head down the drive and then we go and check in at the reception. And once we've checked in, we head a little way down the road, turn right, and then head up towards the touring area and move to our allocated pitch. There's a reception just behind me here, just opposite where you come in, and also a laundry. And then just opposite that, there's an old telephone box. See the telephone box there? Just heading out of the site now. Let's so just see behind me, you probably saw when we came in. Uh, there's security barriers there. If you have a look along the wall there you can see some nice ornamental features. An old uh, caravan just where Rachel's going past. You can see the entrance to the woods just behind me here. Probably ideal for a dog walk, we'll check that out later. This little stream runs along the side of the site and uh, you can see the snowdrops there. There's a post box just near the entrance here. See the uh, campsite sign behind us there. So we're just wandering uh, about 100 yards down the road and um, the road is fairly busy um, just to a farm shop so we'll go and check that out it's called non go by farm shop so let's go and have a look and we're now at the farm shop i'm going to take a look at the animals Just going in to have a look at the animals. Uh, notice it says no dogs in there, so Rachel's just popped off with Roxy to look around. So it's a pound to get in to look around the animals. You just pay in the shop and we'll just have a quick look around. Looks like quite a few of the kids enjoying feeding the animals and you can get feed for the animals from the shop for 50 pence. And I think the kids get a free bag of it if you pay for them. See all of the sheep behind me, very friendly. Wind turbine uh, just behind to help with sustainability. 
and bear to you too. Little track that kind of follows around. You can just walk right the way around. I'm coming, Ronnie McDonald. So we're just walking now back round to the shop. <laughs> There's more animals just down this way. See the fishing pond rules there. These are Hereford calves and they're called Pint and Pot. Oh, hello! <laughs> Did you <a> jump on? <laughs> hello! Oh, you smell! <laughs> hello, guinea pig! <laughs> There's some tiny baby goats there, aren't they cute? This is Maisie and Daisy, the little Shetland ponies. Hello. Hello. This is Dolly and Nation. Hi guys. Say hello. Hi Dolly. Hi Nation. Hello. Look at all the baby piglets. So that was our little trot across the road from the campsite to the farm shop. So it literally is less than five minutes walk from the campsite to the farm shop. If you can spot it in the background there, but there's a nice little circle of snowdrops. So we're just going to have a little look into the woods here. Have a look. See what we've got up here. Looks like there might be a dog walk with a bit of luck. So, there we go. Help yourself to compost there. Look, it's a bath full of daffodils. Oh, this is great. Dogs can be off lead. Let's go and explore. When you head back through, there's a sign saying dogs must be kept on a lead. Just a little bit further along here, there's another gate that goes back into the site. Probably see behind there, you can see it going into the uh, touring area. There's a couple of different routes you can take through the woods. Fantastic for your dog though. So I don't know about you, but I keep here in plains. And you're probably wondering why we've come to a campsite near Leeds Bradford Airport. Rachel, do you want to enlighten us? 
We, yes, I can, I can enlighten you. I fly off on my holidays tomorrow morning. I'm leaving David and Roxy in charge of leather, leisure bit and everything at home. Oh dear, um, for a week, and I'm just going to go for a week in the sun. So I'll be back soon. Yeah, and I didn't have enough holidays left at work to go, unfortunately. So Roxy and I are stuck here. Home alone. Yeah. Anyway, let's get on with the rest of the video. Are you waiting? Says dogs must be put back on the lead. There we go. And we clip back on. And away we go. Back into the campsite from the woods. Great little woods though. To walk your dog in. And fantastic you're allowed the dog off lead there. There's a little stream that runs through the woods. And just alongside the campsite. A seat there to rest your weary legs before you go in the woods or after you've come out of the woods. Nice to see some of the decorations and ornaments on the trees. Area for recycling drinking water facilities block in the facilities block as well as an L sand disposal point there's a washing up area there's toilets showers there's even a bath the facilities were clean and tidy and had everything you needed See the van over there? Look at that contraption. It looks like a dragon. Isn't that clever how that's been made? Excellent. Another area there like we saw earlier. I think in the summer I imagine they'd have bins and things in there. This is the area where the uh, grass pictures would hook up. Just see around there. It's near the facilities block. So we waved Rachel off here at five o'clock this morning, or just before five actually. We've been cleared for takeoff. Just taking Roxy for a walk in the woods this morning, just before I head off. And it's been a lovely peaceful evening and it's a nice sight. We were on a pitch with hookup at St Helena's and we paid £7.50 for the electricity and the pitch also had a meter, the starting reading was 13366 and the end reading was 13388 and that was for 19 and a half hours so it would have cost us £7.48 if we'd paid 34 pence a kilowatt hour like we would at home. So Rachel, what have you thought of St Helena's campsite near Leeds? It is really convenient for Leeds Bradford Airport. The farm shop is amazing, the animals are just so cute. Good campsite, I quite like it. Different, the pictures are a little bit different, but I've enjoyed it. What about you? I think if you're in the area, it's uh, got everything you need. So yeah, it's uh, very handy there just to wander up. There's a garden centre a bit further up the road as well. Um, you know, it's got everything you need and super handy for the airport, as Rachel said. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye! Bye. Is